Uh, let's do problem number 11 on page 852. I'll read the problem out loud. It says, an aluminum wire having a cross-sectional area of 4 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared carries a current of 5 amps. Find the drift speed of the electrons in the wire. The density of the aluminum is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. Assume that one conduction electron is supplied by each atom. So uh, we have aluminum. And you need to know, it didn't give it to you in the problem. You have to look it up, but uh, which is pretty easy. I just Googled it. I don't even look in my book anymore. I just Google everything, uh, it, which is 27 grams per mole. The area of the wire is given. The current is given. The density is given. And we have uh, one electron per atom. That's important. One charge carrier available per aluminum atom. And uh, I just wrote down the charge of the electron. So uh, we have, you know, here's some, some wire, right? And it's got uh, some cross-sectional area. And we said, remember, that current is, uh, well, I guess we'll put valence. Here are all the little valence electrons. And they're moving through this wire. If I say the current is in this direction, the electrons are actually bouncing around, smashing into atoms and stuff. But they have a, an average velocity to the left. And we want to know what is that velocity, or what is the speed of that velocity. And we have an equation for, for that. Well, the current is, well, it's the number of charge carriers per unit volume. And we could create a volume here. Like here's a volume contained by the, uh, the wire. Uh, times the charge on each charge carrier. And, uh, and then we, we have this delta x, but delta x times that, uh, you know, and then the time it takes to go and all that, we, that's where we get the drift velocity from and then uh, times the area. So this, uh, this cross-sectional area. So uh, if we say that, you know, delta T is one second, delta X over that one second, uh, well, that's, that sweeps through this volume. And anyway, this is the equation for the current in a wire. So we uh, solve for drift velocity is equal to the current divided by um, uh, the number of charge carriers per unit volume, the charge on each electron, and divided by the area. So this is given, this is given, this is given. This is the hard part right here. And here's how I always figure out n, and I'd pay attention to this because there's a problem like this on the exam. You're going to have to figure out how many charge carriers there are per unit volume. Well, here's what I do. I go, okay, I, I'm given the density. That's the, the mass per unit. Uh, I'm sorry, density. The, the, this is the uh, mass per unit volume. That's a good place to start because we got that per unit volume on the, on the denominator already. So watch what I do. N is equal to, well, 2.70 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, <coughs> I want the number of charge carriers per unit volume. Well, I need to know how many uh, atoms there are. And so what you get is, uh, well, I, can, I know there's 27 grams of aluminum per mole of aluminum. So now I got moles per cubic centimeter when I let these. But I don't want moles per I want the number of electrons. Well, so I'm getting there. Well, I know that one mole is that, I don't know, that avocado guy. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. Now, now we've got uh, atoms per cubic centimeter. We're really close. Uh, and here's where you have to really pay attention. I want to know how many charge carriers there are. How many charge carriers per atom? 
uh, one. It was said in the problem there's one available electron per atom of aluminum. So I just say one atom gives me one electron. So now I've got it. I've got, I've got it. I've got number of electrons per cubic centimeter. Do you see how I'm using dimensional analysis to solve this? But we're not quite there because in physics, we, we do everything in meters. So we got to convert from uh, cubic centimeters to cubic meters. Well, I'm going to say that, uh, well, I know that in one meter, there are 100 centimeters, right? But I'm going to go 100 times 100 times 100 because I want cubic. I want to say, I want to cube this. So I want to cube the centimeters. Well, 100 times 100 is 10,000. And then I cube it again, and I get two more zeros, which is 1 million, uh, oops, 1 million cubic centimeters. And so now I can cancel out the cubic centimeters, and I've got number of electrons per cubic meter. So when you plug all this into your calculator, you get 6.02 times 10 to the 28 uh, electrons per cubic meter. Now I'm ready to just plug in my values for the drift velocity. The current is 5 amps divided by <coughs> n, 6.02 times 10 to the 28 electrons per cubic meter, times the charge on an electron, which is, uh, you don't really care about the negative. If you put the negative in, I don't care. That's, that's good. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs on an electron. And what else? Oh, the area. The area is 4 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. Now let's see if we do indeed get meters per second out of this. I've got a meter squared. Cancels the meters cubed. What is a an amp? Well, that's how much charge goes by every second. It's a coulomb per second. And so the coulomb here cancels the coulomb here. And look, the only unit left is meters per second, right? This is 1 over 1 over meters, which is meters divided by second. Yeah, that's velocity, so we're good. You plug that into your calculator, and you will get 1.3 times 10 to the negative 4 meters per second, which uh, can also be expressed as 0 0.13 millimeters per second. A tenth of a millimeter per second. That's really slow. I mean, that's a little tiny, that's a, that's a little tiny baby snail crawling across a leaf slow. Maybe slower than that. Uh, you know, that's like the, the hour hand on a clock moving around slow. So you think, oh, electricity is fast. It is fast. What's fast about electricity? The electric field in the wire itself. That's what propagates at a speed close to the speed of light. But the, uh, the electrons, the flowing charge themselves are actually quite slow in a wire. So any questions? OK. That is all.